We are in an Ingenious Wave 2 wireless access point, the ENS620, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware. So let's go to System Manager, click on Firmware, and this is going to be the same case whether it's any other Ingenious product as well. So let's take a look and we see here that our firmware is 1.00. So what you want to do is go to a new tab in your web browser and go to ingeniustech.com just as you see there at the top and then you want to do forward slash downloads and when you go to ingeniustech.com.sg forward slash downloads you're going to be given a list of different firmware updates now you can hit the drop down list until you find the one you want so I went ahead and found the ENS620 EXT and then you just hit enter and there are our firmware choices so we've got a user manual quick guide firmware and data sheet so we have a latest firmware option let's go ahead and choose to download that and we're going to choose to show it in folder and there's our ingenious file let's go ahead and unzip it just choose extract all and there's our file and we're looking for that bin file by the way that's the one we want so let's go ahead and copy the path to this by right clicking choosing copy and then we'll minimize the file explorer boxes now let's go back into our ingenious device and we'll go into choose file let's go ahead and paste in the file and there it is double click and now it sees the file right here now we're going to choose to upload so let's go ahead and click the upload option now you can see at the top it's going to spin around and now it says hey you sure you want to do this yes we do let's go ahead and proceed now don't disconnect anything don't turn it off just let it run until it's completely done it says there please wait for 500 plus seconds but it won't take that long and then uh, when it is finally done we'll be able to log back in and check that we've got the new firmware uploaded now if the firmware updates and you can no longer log into the device then there is a reset button that you can get to right next to where the network port is you just hold that in until you see the flashing happen and it'll bring it back to the default factory specifications and you can log in with the original username and password as well as getting the original firmware back however all your changes will be lost so you want to make sure that you know exactly how this is going to be set up prior to doing the flashing in case you have to manually set it back up and after just a few minutes looks like our upgrade is done let's go ahead and log in and now we're logged back in stay tuned for other videos on ingenious wave 2 access points when we talk about various different operations modes such as the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless security setup